talk, love got me unraveling. All the hardness crumbling. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am back with this makeup tutorial right here. I'm going to show you guys how I apply makeup for the summertime. It's getting hot out here in Canada and you know, I mean, we all still want to look cute and done, but we don't want to go outside and have our face melting, all right? That ain't a cute look. So I'm going to show you guys what products I use to make my makeup last all day long in the summertime. This is the typical face that I have, very fresh and very light. Um, that way your face isn't feeling too heavy caked up or anything like that because it is super hot outside. You want to go with a light coverage in everything when it comes to makeup, alright? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already to become a part of the Curls and Lipstick family. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, then continue to watch. So as you guys can see, I have already applied my brow products. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, so I did that already. Now on to foundation. First I'm going to prime because you still in the summer want your makeup to last especially in the summer because you're so hot, right? So use a primer according to your skin type. A mattifying primer if you're oily, moisturizing primer if you are super dry, or just regular primer if you have normal skin, okay? I'm gonna be using the Master uh, Prime from Maybelline. This one right here, this is the Blur and Smoothing Primer. Okay, I recently picked this up and I actually like it. I like the um, the one that gives you more of a glow, but I'm not going to use that because, you know, it's summer. I'm going to already be sweating. I don't want to add too much luminosity to the skin. So I apply it mainly to the areas that I have more texture. So once I let that primer kind of set into the skin, just a couple of minutes, like two to five minutes, you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation for today because, like I said, I'm going to use products that are really going to make my makeup last all day throughout the heat. I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I do have a review on this. I will link it up on the screen. Go ahead and check it out. This is an amazing long wearing foundation. It does not budge. It doesn't transfer. It stays put all day. Day. it looks great for pictures and I think it's just really an amazing one for the summertime but it is a little bit on the heavy side okay and you don't want to feel cakey in the summer so what I like to do with this foundation is sheer it out with some moisturizer so your favorite fa your favorite face moisturizer or sunscreen mix it in with this foundation and it's going to sheer it out and make it feel a lot more lighter on the skin it's still going to provide the same coverage and it's still going to wear long and stay in place it's just going to make it a little bit thinner on the skin so to blend out my foundation, I'm going to be using my um, Sigma Round Top Kabuki brush. I've been loving this brush to blend out my foundation. It just like makes everything so seamless and airbrushed. It provides really, really great coverage. And with this foundation, honestly, you don't really have to do much because it already has that like medium to full coverage. And this foundation is more on the um, light matte side of foundations. So when applying my foundation, I like to go with a thin layer. And then if I need any more extra coverage in certain spots, I grab a little bit more of that foundation and I just go on those spots. I don't do my whole face so that it doesn't become too thick, too cakey looking. So thin layer all over and then certain areas of the face, I'll go in and dab a little bit more of product to get more coverage on those areas. And this will just ensure that my foundation still looks like skin, it's lightweight, it looks light on the skin and not like too many layers and too thick on the skin. So with this foundation, because it has such amazing coverage, I don't need to really um, conceal any bags under my eye. So I don't use um, concealer for those purposes, but I am going to use my NARS concealer in custard just to highlight a little bit and add a little bit more dimension to the face. But I'm going to go really light with the product again. I want very little coverage and I want it to feel light on the skin because it is so hot outside. And I like this concealer because it really doesn't budge, it stays in place, it really doesn't crease on me that much. Even if I don't set it with a powder, it really doesn't crease, it's very minimal and um, it just feels really refreshing under the eyes. 
and I actually applied that product and blended it out with the same brush that I used my foundation because I don't want it to look too highlighted in those areas. I want it to look as natural as possible. So by using the brush that you use your foundation with, it really tones down the lighter concealer. So to set that concealer really, really slightly, um, for me, I don't really have excessive oily skin, so I'm going to go very light-handed with the powder. But if you do have very oily skin, you want to try the baking technique. I will link that video also on the screen, and you can check it out on ways to um, uh, set your concealer that it won't budge or crease. It will stay in place. But for me, I'm just going to dust on a little bit of this NARS powder. This is the Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Beach. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques contour brush for that. I love this brush to set underneath my eyes. It is the perfect, perfect size, density, and I just love the shape of it also under my eyes. And it picks up enough product that I need. It doesn't pick up too much or too less, so love that brush to set my under eye highlight. So now I'm going to actually bronze my skin. I'm not going to contour. Contouring is not something I do on a daily basis. It's mainly for video purposes or evening wear or special event or occasion. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to bronze the skin just to bring a little bit more dimension back into the skin and a little bit of, of color, okay? So I'm using my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo. I really love this bronzer. This is in turquoise. I used the darker color right here it's really rich and warm tone and I like that for the summertime especially the more tanned I get I like to go warmer with my bronzers so for that I'm just going to be using a big um, kind of like a, a blush brush this is from Quo it's a Canadian brand and um, yeah I'm just going to use that and put that in the perimeters of my face the outer perimeters I wanted to say so now on to blush. I'm actually going to use a cream blush and then I'm going to set it with a little bit of a powdered blush. And this is going to ensure my blush stays on the whole day. I'm going to be using first this NARS Multiple. This is in G-Spot. It is a um, kind of like a, a mauve blush color. So I'm going to use that first on the cheeks, blend that out with my finger, and then I'm going to go in with a powdered blush to set that in place. I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous sun-kissed glow kind of highlight. Suits every single skin tone and it's just so beautiful. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something cool and new today. I just wanted to show you guys how I apply makeup for the summer, what products I use to make it last all day long, and this right here is my typical face for the summer. Something really fresh and light. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!